Having a relationship with God is the, the single most important thing a Christian can do. Um, we're obviously in the midst of an enormous spiritual battle. Satan has really laid um, a heavy attack on our, our area, our community, um, starting with 416, but ongoing from that. Because when we, when we have people questioning God, it can go one way where it can be really good and draw them to Him, or it can be bad and, and take them from Him. So we are in the midst of a major battle, and um, I know that our only weapon against that offensively is to know the Word, to know the truth, to know it in our hearts and our heads, to have it be on the tip of our tongue um, so that we can fight the evil one. And so we only get to that point if we're spending time in it consistently and we're, we're chewing on it and we're meditating on it and we're letting it soak into our hearts. I encourage you to really spend time with God. That's, that's all you really got to do. Spend with time with God, have quiet time with Him, sit silently and uh, listen to His voice, praise Him. and. Um, don't let the things around you take away your focus from God. Allow, allow yourself to be covered with Christ and to set your mind on things above. And just when I, when I started reading the set your mind on things, it was like, you know, I really have to, that's really calling me to, to be in this, in this state of mind all the time, you know. I, I just want to say how important it is to be at the foot of the cross every day that it's real easy to get focused on where you're gonna where you're gonna go after you graduate, what you're gonna do. But you get focused on the what, about what you're gonna do and you forget about the how, about how much God wants to do in between now and then. We've seen an incredible um, turnout and lots of the events of the ministries on campus. Uh, I think probably the biggest ever and that's been a testimony to the Lord and what He's doing in people's lives. Uh, we can't take credit for that. I don't think anyone can, but we can only turn our eyes up and say, Lord, thank you for how you've softened people's hearts and how you're continuing to soften people's hearts. Um, there's an openness that I've seen in people to be willing to hear what you have to say, just to sit down and talk with you. Um, I was so blessed, especially uh, to see my Korean friends just coming to me and asking me about how, how it was at Virginia Tech and that which led to my salvation call to them. So yeah, it, was, it was an awesome opportunity. I guess I really see people's hearts being softened little by little and bit by bit. So that would be awesome just to see God, God move. I told um, some people from our leadership team that I think that there's a shift going on in the, um, in the spirit realm, like, like for real. Um, God just moving in people's lives, like people opening themselves up to God. I don't know why people seem so open right now, but they do, and I think we should, as the body of Christ, take advantage of that. Uh, the Lord has commanded us to go into the nations to make disciples, to tell people the incredible news that we know, the, the best news we've ever heard, that Jesus Christ has saved us, that Jesus Christ loves us desperately and wants to be in a relationship with us. And God's really calling us to, to preach the good news to people and to live our lives in such a way that that we can be light to this campus, that we can be um, just an example. This is the time where we are supposed to be a city on the hill and um, be the light to the campus. And there's gonna be lots of lights. All the organizations on campus are gonna be responsible for, 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 for providing a little bit of that light to the campus. I really pray that, yeah, we won't miss this opportunity just continually reach out for the non-believers because the bottom line is yeah for the longest time I remember this one pastor saying that Christians 20% of us in this world have been focusing on that 20% but now it's time to reach out for that 80% that just calls us you know to 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 try to be like Jesus and if there's ever a thing that Jesus did he, he looked for every opportunity and um, if there's something that you know that we're going to be challenging the BCM leadership and, and our fellowship. Um, it's something that the entire campus, I think, um, should be looking out for is, is opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Um, when, you know, this year among any year, we'll have more opportunities, period, to speak, to talk, whether it be about the tragedy or about our faith or about questions. And man, there, I mean, no year we will ever have more opportunity than right now, you know, and uh, it would it would be something I challenge all of the 
the Christians here on campus. Um, I don't care what you're involved with. I don't care, you know, what what sins you have, what past you have. I don't care what reputation you have. You know, I don't. It doesn't matter what your background is, what your denomination is, what your ministry is. We all have opportunities. And the number one thing on this campus is allowing. The number one thing on this campus has got to be Christ. Jesus Christ has saved us, and that Jesus Christ desperately loves us and the campus. And I think that that refocus on the gospel will, in turn, change our hearts for this campus and will change the students' hearts as we love them. And we should stand out from everybody else and not be ashamed of that. Um, we should be able to proclaim, you know what I'm saying, the name of Christ and, and not shrink back or wonder who's watching or listening or looking at us funny and all of that, man. So I've just been on a, a boldness tip, man, and the excitement about the Lord, man, because we have the greatest thing in the whole wide world living on the inside of us. And who are we not to be excited? If people can be excited about their fraternities and be excited about what organizations they're in and what party, what they did at the party last night, then why can't we as Christians be bold and excited about Jesus Christ that lives on the inside of us, man, and, and how that looks and how that feels um, and to have life and life more abundantly. So.